The Earth is a forever changing mass of rock and magma. Today, the Earth is not the same as it was during the time of the dinosaurs. Let's look at how the Earth has changed over the past million years. To understand how these changes occurred, we need to first look at the structure of the Earth. The crust is the outermost layer of the Earth that is 45 kilometers thick and is made of many rocks, dirt, and metals and is heated by the Earth's mantle and outer core. The lithosphere is made up of the crust. The mantle is the second layer of the Earth and is about 2,886 kilometers thick and is made mostly of molten iron and magnesium and it is about 500 to 900 degrees Celsius. The asthenosphere consists of the upper mantle. The mesosphere is a part of the lower mantle and is made up of molten rocks. The outer core is the second layer closest to the center that is mostly made up of iron and nickel. It is about 2,400 kilometers thick and is about 2,730 through 4,230 degrees Celsius. The inner core is the most inner layer and is completely solid from the pressure. It is made of solid iron and nickel and is about 1,220 kilometers thick and 5,420 degrees Celsius. The crust is made out of many smaller masses called tectonic plates. Plate boundaries are sections between two tectonic plates. Continental Drift Theory is that Earth is made out of plates that can move, and over time, the continents move, causing changes in land masses. There are three types of plate boundaries. Convergent boundaries collide, divergent boundaries divide, and transform boundaries slide together. Convection currents move tectonic plates by heat flows from the mantle affecting the temperature causing the magma to flow moving the plates. The mantle is heated by the outer core to move the plates. Seafloor spreading is when two oceanic plates move apart and magma flows up from the mantle onto the ocean floor. Now to go deeper into the ever-changing Earth. Even the rocks on our planet change over time. For example, obsidian, lapis lazuli, and sandstone. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock. Sandstone forms when rocks break down through weathering and erosion into sediments. Then through cementing and pressure, sedimentary rocks form. Obsidian is an igneous rock. This will form when rock melts into magma, then cools rapidly. Lapis lazuli forms when rocks go through lots of heat and pressure. The rock cycle has many steps to it. It has weathering and erosion compacting and cementing, heat and pressure, melting, and cooling and hardening. Then there are stages to the rock cycle. Sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, igneous rock, magma, and sediments. The cool part is that no matter what stage you start at in the rock cycle, it can go through all the stages and steps. So how do we know about the age of rocks and fossils? Radioactive decay is when half-life occurs in a radioactive material. When this happens, radioactive isotopes turn into daughter isotopes. This causes things to decay. Radioactive dating tells us how old something is by knowing how many radioactive isotopes to daughter isotopes it has. The older the object, the more daughter isotopes it has. Superposition is another way we know about the age of rocks and fossils. This is done by knowing that rocks are older the lower they are, and the rocks at the surface are younger than the rocks below them. Cross-cutting corresponds with superposition. This is when a section of rock moves and causes a shift in the layers, but the layers are still the same age. Uniformitarianism is the process that present things that can tell us about events that had happened in the past. The world is constantly changing, and by observing the changes we see today, we can learn about our past and prepare for the future.